Well, this is what I got so far. I'm just gonna wait until this glue dries and then and I'll take these pillars out and then I'll get the rest of these back sections glued in and then I can start wrapping it with the with a grill cloth. So I'll let these dry overnight. So let's see how sturdy it is. The only spot I'm kind of concerned about, I don't know why I didn't think about when I was doing it, but when I put this piece right here, I uh, put it on the outside of the ring. And hopefully that won't look too bad when I get that molded. Um, if I think it's gonna affect it, I'll probably just take this piece off and put another one on the back side here. I'll be honest, these uh, pods are probably uneven. The dash is a little bit higher on the driver's side than it is on the passenger side. So I'm gonna get these pillars out of here and then move on to the next steps. So this is what I got so far. I went ahead and let these dry overnight. So I'll start using the Bondo to fill in the small holes and all the pits. So I got the Bondo all on these A-pillars, got everything sanded down. I got these primered and wet sanded and there are just a few spots that I need to get. They're kind of low spot right there. There's a few over here I got to work on and one right there and a few other ones. Um, but I'll fill those in and then put another layer of primer on. I think I got all of the small imperfections filled in. I'm gonna go ahead and get the last layer of primer on there, smooth that out, paint it the satin black, let that dry, get it installed, and then that should be it.
color match of the paint and the handle. It's not perfect, but it's definitely close. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry overnight and then I'll put it in the truck. So one of the main things I was concerned about when I did this was how much the pods would obscure my view when I'm driving. It takes up a little bit, but I mean, it's it's not as much as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, it's just this one area right here that gets blocked and if you turn your head, barely covers up anything on the other side over there. Since this was the first time I tried doing these pods, I don't mind showing my imperfections with it. There were a few spots that I messed up. When I was working on this tweeter pod, I actually glued these rings on here and I had a little mishap with the glue it seeped out the sides when I put it in there so I ended up having to repaint part of it at the bottom so it made it a little bit shinier down here than I really wanted it now on this side I actually left this handle unpainted I painted this entire pillar so this is all that satin spray paint and I was able to get that textured look on it. I think it matched the handle pretty good. Things I probably would have done differently, uh, I would have spent a little bit more time on these pods trying to get the round shape. It's a little bit off but it's not too bad. And then maybe around here, round it off the top just a little bit. The hardest part that I had to deal with was down in this area where I had the tweeter pod meeting the mid-range. It was real tight to get in right here. So when I was doing the body filler, I had to trim out a lot of it. it took a while for me to get it sanded down enough to where I could actually put this bracket in here. Overall, I think it was a success. I don't plan on trying to do this again any other time soon, but it's something that I'd definitely try again. Next video, I'm gonna start working on some wiring. Gonna make a few changes down with these switches here. I've actually rearranged some of them already, but this drives me insane where they have the USB plug. I just don't like wires hanging down in this area. So just make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of that. I'll try to get that video done as soon as I can. And hope to see you all next time.